I, I just want to say we're so passionate about classic movies. We're going to expand the conversation. You can see the passion that's in this room. It's thrilling to the core. Put a new spin on some vintage films. It's classic movies and more. Um, a, a bit of uh, going back to the reference I made about Dot's constant struggle with, with the uh, getting into the union, the men who ran the union. I have a letter here that Dot wrote <clears throat> in, actually the date is actually February 23rd, 1942. Uh, makeup Artists, Local Union 706. 1627 North Cahuenga Avenue in Hollywood, Hollywood, California, no zip code back then. Attention, Mr. E uh, for Ernie Westmore, <clears throat> and it states, Gentlemen, again, I have been informed that there is a movement to oust me from the union for the crime of being a woman. This certainly is not in keeping with the ideals and purposes for which the unions have been formed and operated. For 13 years I have been employed in this work and for a like number of years I have been a member in good standing and have paid my regular dues to the union. That my work has been of the very highest caliber can be attested by the fact that I have always worked for salaries above the minimum scale and that many of the leading stars have had clauses inserted in their contracts insisting upon my services. However, notwithstanding this, I have at all times insisted that a makeup man be employed on any set where I have worked, as well as a body makeup girl where there was any of that work to be done. My conduct, my workmanship, and my reputation, both as a lady and as an artist, is and has always been above reproach and is a matter of record. In all my contacts, I have acted in a manner that would reflect nothing but credit to the profession and the union. My efforts have been untiring in making women makeup conscious, especially so in the moving picture industry where my efforts are well known. This is the second time this ouster movement has been instituted and I am sure all fair-minded members of the union can see the unfairness of the action. For 13 years I have devoted my life to this art with ability, enterprise and diligence. The very base of our democratic type of government, the Bill of Rights, grants every person the right to pursue gainful employment and to stop me now would be to deprive me of my means of livelihood. In all fairness, gentlemen, and for the good of the union and the profession, I ask that this action be permanently withdrawn and permit me to earn a living peacefully. <clears throat> Yours truly, Dot Ponadell.